Hello, my name is Luke. I'm with Dream Decks. Today we're in Strongsville, Ohio. I'm going to show you how to lay out a deck. But first I want to go with, over with you the project and how we got to this point. This is the print we're going to use. Uh, this is a print that uh, our design team came up with. Andy comes out and does the designs with the homeowner. Uh, as you see, the basic footprint of the house. And then how we use some creati creativity and uh, made this deck a little special in this design. But as you see on this deck, it will follow the basic profile of the back of the house. Then the corner of the stairs will start, come down to a landing. Will then return uh, back to the deck. Now, with this particular deck, we want to uh, keep as much space underneath open, being that the uh, the second floor of the house does and indeed come out uh, about 10 foot up above the ground. So, in doing that, we're going to uh, upsize our deck floor joists. Instead of using two by eights, we're going to use two by tens. That'll give us a longer span from the deck ledger of the house over to the beam, and then from the beam, we can always can leave up to three feet per the city code out here. So our beam from this section of the house, we're gonna come out 14 feet. From this section over here, we're gonna come out approximately 12 feet. Um, so first we gotta do is square up the house and find out where our square point is. So what I always do is I come up along the house, come from the foundation, which should always be a true square point. Um, that'll get you relatively close. And then that works for your post. When you're gonna square up your deck frame, you're actually gonna square it, make sure it's correct. But I set a stake a couple feet up from the end of the house run a string line to a stake where my beam is going to be placed. Attach a string to there, make sure it lines up and creates me a nice straight line. From this straight line, I can then do pull my layouts. So I know my first beam is going to be 14 feet. So I have to take my spray paint, spray paint myself a 14 foot line, go from this one of the house, another 14 foot line. And then by using this straight line, I can pull the placements of my actual posts. Um, what I like to do is I always like to keep my post symmetrical with the beam. And because we want to eliminate too many obstacles from viewing, you know, being with the windows and doors, we're going to instead of cantilevering two feet from our, our beams past our posts, we're going to only go one foot. So I'm coming in for my string line, one foot. The second, I'm pulling the maximum and then back, returning one foot. Uh, just creating a nice symmetrical look with my post of the beam. The second beam, I see there's no need to really uh, have the beams run past each other. The second beam, again, the same thing. I pull out from the house my 12 feet, have a straight point from this section of the house, and again, keep everything symmetrical, one foot in and one foot in. Um, being Strongsville City Code is a 16 inch diameter hole, 42 inches deep. So we use our auger machine today and uh, dig those holes, clean them out, make sure with a nice depth and uh, keep within the city uh, code. So thanks for watching our video and hopefully this helps you out.